were born in Essex and we grew up in Norfolk. Um, what were we like as kids, Nick? Naughty. You were. I wasn't naughty. Yes, you were. Mum, was I naughty? You were very naughty, but you were just a bit too clever. You used to disguise the naughtiness for Nicola. I didn't care. No, exactly. <laughs> cool, so I was naughty and clever and you were naughty and stupid. Mm-hmm. I just wanted attention. Oh. I think it was your nickname, wasn't it? We always called you Nixie Pixie and then... I got little pixie ears, so everyone used to call me Nixie Pixie. And then it was just adopted Pixie Wee. We used to just use Pixie Wee for some reason. And Sam and I decided to get into makeup. Well, actually, Sam decided first because she's three years older than me. And in turn, she followed my auntie, who is a makeup artist. So, um, yeah, my auntie was a really good, really well known makeup artist, Maggie Hunt. And then Sam, when she left school, went to college and studied makeup. And I pretty much wasn't good at anything else apart from art and thought, oh, she doesn't get homework, that looks really good, I'm going to do that. Old films, uh, Hollywood icons, um, mostly sort of period looks inspire me the most, but also uh, Catwalk. I love, uh, I, I spend a lot of time on Vogue.com checking out what's going on every season. Uh, what inspires you, Nick? It's pretty much the same, to be honest. Um, yeah, sometimes even fat, you know, clothes in fashion can inspire you to put colours together. Yeah, pretty much, but that's normally from Fashion Week anyway. Uh, I do love Hollywood icons, so that probably inspires me quite a lot. I do like the 60s, uh, but I probably my favourite would be the 20s, because okay, it's just so 20s. different and nothing like it has come up, come up since. Nothing quite so um, dramatic. Uh, so I do, I do love the twenties. Yeah, I am probably fifties and sixties, and then I'm probably the noughties as well because I love loads of makeup. I like to look perfect. Um, not that I do very often, but I like to put a lot of makeup on. Uh, so I would say probably fifties, sixties, and noughties. I don't think there's any competition between us, do you? No, no, no. We're very different, and we help each other all the time. Yeah, I don't think there is. Friendly or not friendly, I don't think we compete at all um, when it comes to makeup. We do compete with other people, but not with each other. No. We're a team. It was with a photographer called Clive Arrowsmith who did the Pirelli calendars, and I was, I think I was 17 or 18, and I was terrified. And I did this job, and there was, it was Erin O'Connor, it was one of her, she was a new face then. I'm um, trying to think who else was on there. There was a bunch of models on there that ended up being really big models, but were new faces then. And I had to do hair and makeup, and I think there was about 12 or 13 of them, so I was completely out of my depth. Um, but, you know, it was, it was, it was a good experience. Uh, my first big job, actually my first job, was doing a Pizza Hut advert, which was really scary. And there wasn't really anyone that famous in it. Ronnie Corbett was in it, and um, Emma B. And I, but I just, I think because it was the first job, and it was quite important, that was quite scary. Mostly we get hired individually, but since we've been doing Pixie Wee, we have had the a odd few jobs, jobs, haven't we, where we've, where we've been hired as a team. We like to work together, yeah, it's though. It's really good fun. So much easier as well. Definitely. Because we work well together and we use similar products. You, you don't have to take so much stuff with you. And we can work from the same kit. Um, yeah, but mostly we get hired separately. It wasn't planned. It was sort of accidental. A client asked me how to do a look, I filmed it, and then that's where it started. We really didn't have any idea about how YouTube worked when we started, uh, but we're really glad that we did. Mm -hmm. uh, Sam and I both attended school to learn makeup. Uh, we both went to Norcat College, which is King's Lynn College. It's near, it's called, I think it's called College of, West, College Anglia of West Anglia now, now um, which is near where we live, and uh, it was the only makeup course at the time. It was a two year course. Um, and we both got a BTEC National Diploma in Media Makeup from it. Not that that really means too much. Not a lot. I don't think it really is that necessary to do a course these days. I mean, lots of really good makeup artists are self-taught. Um, I think maybe if you do a short course just to get the basics and learn the hygiene, I think that's very important. And also it's much easier to get insurance if you've done a course. But other than that, most of the stuff you can learn yourself. Yeah. Also, um... You know, you've got artists artists that are now crossing over to do makeup, like Alex Box. She did, comes from a fine art background and now she does makeup. So um, I think as long as you have a flair for it and a talent for it, then um, it's not always necessarily, necessarily, necessary to have done a course. 
Um, we do a five day course uh, at Pixie Woo and yeah, it's just a five day intensive course for people that haven't really studied makeup and they, they just want you know, the, to learn about hygiene, to learn certain tricks of the trade uh, and it's based in Norwich.